So as I'm recording my, or as I'm actually upgrading my own firmware on my Z50, I was like, might as well just one take it, not even do a screencast and show you guys how you update your actual firmware on your Nikon camera. It doesn't matter what it is. You go to NikonUSA.com, you go into their site, and you want to go to Z firmware or get the latest firmware. You click that, and then you it'll take you to this menu. Why is my computer frozen? It's going to refresh. And then you'll be able to choose what camera you have. Even if you have a, let's say, an older DSLR, you can see the different types of firmwares that Nikon have already released. So if your camera is even something along the lines of a D5200, you can go check and see whether or not your camera is the most updated. Because the cool thing I like about Nikon is that they give free form firmware updates for your camera and they don't charge you at all. So right now I'm going to be looking for my Nikon Z50. Go to Z series, Z50, and I go to firmware. And as you can see here, there is a firmware that was just released October 15th, version 2.02. .02. You go to click view download page, and you can see the changes that it'll make. Fist fixed an issue, fine tuning autofocus, changes from previous versions. So you want the latest firmware into your camera. So you don't want to download the older firmware, you want the newest firmware for your camera. And you can read all the information here. As you can see here, this update includes all changes made in previous updates, so you don't need to constantly download 2.01, 2.02, 2.03. All you need to do is download the latest firmware here. You can see much more of the extended menu and what's actually included in the Nikon firmware updates. And then, what you do is you read their agreement. It's usually along the legal terms of if you if you mess up your camera, it's on your fault. You make sure you want to read this, skim through it, read through it, and it's just allowing them to update your camera. You click download, and then you'll see this file called FZ50 or whatever term it is. And then you want to go into your download file and. It will have this file here, if you can see. So you'll have this like WinWAR or zipped file. So you double click that file. It will run an execution file on your computer and you'll have this actual other folder, which is your actual firmware update. You double click that. You'll have this bin folder, All right? So what you wanna do is right click it. You copy your bin folder and then you go into your, your camera your SD card like I'm doing right now and I just put I formatted the memory card on the camera so I went to uh, menu here you go to your tool icon and you go into format memory card then you format the memory card I put it back into my computer I copy paste that bin folder into my SD card and then now as I'm up dating my Z50, I'm like, I might as well just record it, and that's where I left off. So if you want to learn all the steps again, just rewatch this video. And now you're going to see it real time with me, is I'm going to update the camera real time. So what I'm going to do now is I go into, now that I have the bin folder in my SD card, I go to firmware version, and then you'll see my current version that I have. And you'll see this drop down menu now, now that you have that bin folder in your, in your SD card. And I'm gonna go in to click update. So it's gonna take my current version that I have, 1.11 to 2.02. And before you actually click okay, you want to go to your camera and you want just wanna double check if is that the right update format that you want or the newest one. And then once it is, you check that it is 2.02. .02. You wanna click yes. And you'll get this little warning on your camera and says, 
warning, updating, do not turn off camera during update. Update will take several minutes, so make sure your camera is charged via micro USB or you have a pretty decent charge on your battery and now your camera will be updating its firmware. It's gonna take a couple minutes. So I'm gonna skip this part and we'll see after. Now that it's fully updated, it says instructions, update completed, turn off camera. So turn off camera, give it a minute, turn your camera back on, go into your menus, and you want to go into that same firmware version. Press OK. And now you'll know that your camera's updated if you see that it says 2.02 instead of your previous version 1.01 or whatever that was. And now with the Z50, the update has better autofocusing measures as well as better fine tuning AF and any other issues that the Z50 probably had when it initially released and you should do this for any of your Nikon cameras and have the latest firmware to fix any issues that previously were occurring when the camera first launched and if you have an older camera you better want to check your firmware version so you make sure your camera is the best that it can possibly be and that guys is how you update your Nikon firmware on any camera. I also have another video on this, so link in the description if you want specifically how you see I updated my D5200 with the latest firmware. Check that out. Link in the description. And my name is Peter. You're watching a Broke Visionary Collective. If you watched this far, why haven't you smashed that thumbs up button, subscribe, hit that bell, grab my free camera guide, and you're watching a Broke Visionary Collective where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers, guys.